Well, today I had my first civilian open carry experience. Uh, and the bad thing about it is it was completely and uh, totally uh, accidental. I did not mean to do it. Today we were at home, I was having chili dogs for lunch. I was wearing just what I'm wearing right now. Well, I didn't want to get chili sauce all over me. Well, it's not really chili sauce. I make like a homemade sloppy joe mix with brown sugar in it and make it kind of sweet so it complements the hot dogs. But that's beside the point. Uh, I didn't want to get the chili sauce all over my shirt, so I took my shirt off. Just like this shirt here. Took it off. Had a white t-shirt on underneath. Set my shirt to the side, didn't think anything of it. Now, I was a little off my game today because my 14 year old son for the first time ever has went away with friends uh, on public transportation to the mall uh, without me, so without any parent, uh, parental supervision. So I was a little nervous, I was busy tracking him and I've got their cell phones tagged so I can track them wherever they are. So I really wasn't thinking a lot about a lot of things, my mind was on other stuff. <clears throat> and then I realized, well I had to run to the store. Didn't think anything of it, went out to the car, got in the car, went to the store, went to Fred Myers. Now, uh, a lot of you probably don't know what Fred Myers is if you're not from here locally. It's kind of like a super Walmart, only smaller. So, you know, it's a little store that has, you know, both groceries on one side and like an apartment store on the other. So I decided, oh, well, I gotta run up there and get some stuff. So I ran up there and get some stuff. And I go up there like this, and I'll show you like what I'm carrying here real quick so you can see how easy it was to notice I was carrying a gun. As you can see here, I have my Smith & Wesson MP in my Nate Square Tactical Holster. I mean, that is not discreet at all. It is very obvious right here. I've got a gun on. You can see that very clearly. I mean, no mistaking what that is. So as you can see, there's no missing that. It's, I'm obviously carrying a gun. Well, I go up to Fred Myers. I must have spent a half an hour to 45 minutes going around the store picking up different things trying to figure out some stuff we need for dinner I'm someone that uh, I shop every day for that night and the next morning I don't ever buy a lot of groceries at one time uh, I like things fresh we don't eat a lot of canned foods or frozen foods or anything like that if I ever freeze anything I always forget to defrost it so you know I spent a lot of time in the store I was roaming around I actually spoke to one of the couple of the clerks asking them where things were went through the line bought stuff uh, left there uh, then I went to the gas station to get some gas, which is across the street. I uh, went up there, got gas, got out, got gas. Uh, there were all people all around me. I went up to the window, paid for my gas. Never thought anything of it. Then I got back in my car, and for some reason as I was putting my seatbelt on that time, I noticed I can see my gun. Why can I see my gun? I'm like, oh, I don't have my shirt on. And it was a frightening moment, actually. It was kind of weird to think, oh, crap, I'm out with my, my gun exposed. Uh, luckily... This whole time, no one said a thing. I don't even remember anybody looking at me funny. Uh, so it's just weird that I went out, white t-shirt. The worst part of the experience is that I'm out running around in a white t-shirt like some sort of redneck, slack-jawed yokel. Uh, so I go out, no one notices. I've got the gun right on my hip, as you saw. No one says a thing. So it just kind of goes to illustrate if you're not drawing attention to yourself, most people will ignore you. I know a lot of us like to think that we're extraordinary people and that people are interested in what we're doing, but most people just aren't interested in us at all and wouldn't pay us a second, you know, wouldn't give us a second glance if we didn't try to make them. So, moral of the story is, you know, if I can go out accidentally open carrying and not draw any attention, just think how much easier it is every day when we're carrying, when we are actually concealed carrying and we have our shirts over our clothes. And I've made that point many times that people don't pay any attention to us. And today, to me, that was just proof positive that that's true.